Charlotte's Brand of Voodoo Forge. The mailbox project is pretty much done. Just got to get the uh, post trimmed down to fit inside, the wooden post trimmed down to fit inside the steel post. Get that set and then put it on there. So let's get on it. Okay, to make sure that I'm doing this the way I'm supposed to, this wooden post has to go into the ground. And then this steel post is going to slide over the top of it and bolt on. The trouble is, this is bigger than the hole in this. So, I'm gonna have to trim this down. This is a perfect job for my expensive table saw I never use. Yeah, I think I can do this with a circular saw. So this is actually going to take a couple of cuts because I do not have a saw that'll cut all the way through this. And then I'm also going to have to take the corners off because the inside of the tube is um, got little rounded corners. And then I might also have to take a router and router a channel down the middle because this is a welded tube. There's a steam inside. This was flat stock and then it was folded around and welded. So there's a weld channel and I need it to be able to slide on this real easy because when this thing is done it's going to be ridiculously heavy. And you may notice there's something that looks a little different about this circular saw. This is a left-handed circular saw. You may, may be wondering, Brendan, why are you using a left-handed circular saw? Well, I'll tell you why. Because circular saws were designed poorly. Everybody's used to using it with the blade over here. Well, I like to be able to see what I'm cutting, so I want the blade on the side I'm going to be on. And that is why I use a left-handed circular saw. Well, my sawing didn't go quite as even as I wanted it to, but there is still a, a tool I have that can help me get these even. This is my old planer. I've had this for 15 years. I don't use it a lot anymore, but I used to use it a whole, whole lot. And I think it needs new knives, so it's probably not going to do a great job. And it's really loud. So, yeah, let's, let's put this in the planer. That was worth digging out. Now I'm gonna take these corners off using a circular saw. My prediction was right. Where that weld channel is, this won't quite fit. So I've got this one funky side where I cut through it with the uh, circular saw and I think instead of busting out a router, I'm just gonna run this and get it down on the planer because that's way easier. See if we're there. 
Oh yeah, it's beautiful. The bolts, this thing will be in business. By the way, I made this digging bar in a video, and I'll put the thing up there somewhere. This is solid rock. That's it, it's down to solid rock. Already? Yeah. gonna be a problem. <laughs> Back down to solid rock. It may end up being more poop sticking out of the ground than we won't. I'm definitely rethinking building such a heavy mailbox right now. So this is as deep as we are going to be able to go. So my pole is going to be sticking several inches out that I wasn't planning on, but we will make it work, I guess. Grab a level, Joel. Should've got 80 pounds. Put a little bit more water in there. Here she is. She's level. It's Saturday. Mail's already run. I think Monday is a holiday for the post office. So it's got a couple of days to set up. If these yahoos around here, we'll leave it alone. But we really do not get a whole lot of traffic out here. This is Joel, my oldest. She is going to be 14 in a couple of days. 15. Something like that. She's in the middle of those. Uh, she's right on the edge. <laughs> right on the edge. Anyway, she helped me put the post in. Thank you, Jewel. You're welcome, Father. For some reason, I'm sweating like a pig. She didn't have a drop. Well, I'm headed down here to the local scrapyard to uh, 
away the mailbox. So this is gonna be exciting. Well, there were six pounds of copper on there to begin with, so that weighs 115, 115 pounds. This is a little scrapyard in my hometown. Add that sheer. I came back and added 60 more pounds of sackcrete. So it's 120 pounds of sackcrete. And it's set in there pretty good. And it got down in all those rocks that are down in there. So hopefully that'll hold a 115 pound mailbox. Right, so get that little strip. Hey. I love seeing you. I'm gonna get under it. Oh shit, my shirt's hung up. Hold on. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm just gonna hold it. There we go. Wow. <sighs> I really don't think I need to bolt this down here. Honestly. Anybody come pick this thing up? I'm I'm not saying anything to them. Wow, traffic! <laughs> this is gonna be the most unnecessary bolt in the world. Alright, I'm not putting the other one in. Yeah, I was Yeah. So, yeah, that one over there. There it is. Our finished product. wasn't as hard as I thought it would be to get it up. Um, it didn't weigh as much as I thought it did. It was only about 115 pounds, but that's that's pretty heavy for a mailbox, I feel like. Um, now the post, I didn't get it as deep as I wanted it to. That's why I came back with the extra sack creek. And we'll just have to see what happens there. If something happens and it that post gets loose, I'll have to break that up and dig out a bigger hole. I can't go deeper. Um, but I can make it bigger and put more sackcrete in, maybe put rebar through the post. <sighs> I don't know. We'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. But right now it's up. We have actually had mail delivered in it. So apparently it suits our letter carrier. Yay. But anyway, uh, I hope y'all got something out of this. It's, this was uh, a lot of fun. And, uh, and, and my wife's happy. And the letter carrier's happy. And my kids are happy. So... That makes me happy, especially the part about the letter carrier. But anyway, uh, like I said, I hope y'all got something out of this. And uh, if you have any ideas for projects, you can leave them in the comments. I'll check those out. We'll see. Maybe we'll do some of them. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Y'all behave yourselves.